Hey, are you looking to add some personal flair to your panels for your setup, whether that be stalls, round pans, arenas, whatever it may be, add some wood to it just like this. In this video, we're gonna show you exactly how to easily do that. Here we go. All right, now tools you need to add wood to your panels is you're gonna need your wood, you're gonna need our wood panel clamps. Now these are different than just standard panel clamps. They have the inch and five eighths on one side and they're flat, more flat on the other to clamp onto your wood, okay? Now these work great mainly for like two by four, two by six, eight, two by tens, and we're gonna be using two by tens today, so we'll show you how that works. We're gonna want a saw to cut our wood and a tape measure to know where to cut our wood, okay? So tape measure, I always like to have a speed square and a marker, obviously, when you're cutting wood. Uh, you don't have to have that, it's just helpful. And then some safety gear, um, glasses, gloves. And one thing that helps out so much is an impact drill with a 9 socket set with the adapter. Super fast and easy. You'll be able to throw up wood in no time with these tools. So now let's dive on in and show you guys exactly how to put this together. Here we go. All right, your first step is going to be to measure in between your rail spacing. So we got on our five rail standard panels, 10 and a quarter. Okay, so all those will be 10 and a quarter. Okay, so now we know the, the, the width basically of the wood that we should get. A two by 10 would fit perfect in here. Give us you know, a quarter inch gap, so an eighth on each, each top and bottom would be fantastic. So we're gonna do a two by 10. Now we need to know how long of a two by 10. So we're gonna go from post to post. So that is 117. So now that we know the distance between the posts, we wanna make sure that we subtract one inch from your total length because we need spacing for our carriage bolts. Okay, so we had 117, so we're gonna go down to 116. So let's go ahead and cut that right now. All right, now that we know our measurement, we went and got some wood from Home Depot. We got our two by 10. This is a 10 feet long. And we know our measurement is 117, so that is less than 10 feet. So we're gonna go to 117. And remember, we wanna go subtract one inch so that we have space for our carriage bolt. Okay, so we're gonna mark that at 116. We're gonna go through and cut all our pieces at 116. All right, now if you choose to paint or stain the wood before we put it on the panels, now's your time to do that. So we're gonna jump on in and get this all stained up today to make it look nice and pretty for you guys. So here we go, let's get stained. All right, now that we got all of our two by 10 stained, we're gonna put it on our panels. We're gonna start with our stall kit. Now you have a few options. You can just do one on the bottom for keeping, whether it's your shavings in, um, the dirt or sand that you want, especially for round pens. You might wanna keep your sand in your round pen or your good dirt that you purchased, um, or arenas, same thing. If you just wanna do one on the bottom, you can do that. You can do two rails, you can do you know, the bottom rail and then the next rail up so you have two rails there. Or you can do the full panel. So we're going to show you a few options here. We're going to start with just doing the two rails on the bottom and uh, show you what that looks like and then we'll go to the full panel. Like and subscribe for more great horse and livestock fencing tips brought to you by seven peaks fence and barn all right look how nice this turned out it literally took us just a few minutes to install and we added two rails to this middle aisle this middle panel section of our stall kit okay and what is so cool about this i've been looking for a solution for all of you guys to easily add wood to your panels and this is the solution okay so we actually have these panel clamps and they're not our standard panel clamps this is our wood panel clamp and we'll show you a close up on what those look like it's an inch and five eighths to go to your panel your post and then it's flat on the other end to basically attach your wood and be nice and snug and secure 
um, really well to your panels. So it turned out fantastic, guys. I hope you're excited about this just as much as we are. Um, you can do it for stalls, arenas, round pens, whether that's to have some more wind protection, um, block the wind for your horses, whether it's more shade. You, it adds more shade um, in the evenings and afternoons, even mornings uh, to your stalls. Keeps smaller animals in or out. It keeps your shavings in. It can keep your sand in, your round pen, whatever you want to use it for. This is a fantastic option to easily add wood to your panel. So we're going to show you guys now how to add it to the top and show you what that looks like to do all five rails because that is an option too. Very customizable. So here we go. Let's add it to all five. All right, now this is my favorite part. This is what it looks like when you put it between every rail. Look how fantastic that looks, guys. This is great for, we said, wind blocker to keep smaller animals in or out to keep two horses that don't get along from sticking their nose through or kicking or biting or whatever it may be. This is a great option. Literally took us a few minutes to add these on using these simple panel clamps. Super simple wood panel clamps that we offer at You can find these and uh, easily add wood to your panels. All right, if you're interested in more tips and tricks with horse and livestock fencing, be sure to watch the next video. We'll see you guys on the next one.